Good day and for today let's discuss the concept of your orthopedic nursing. This is one of the very good concepts under your medical surgical nursing pa rin, no? So for this lecture, of course, ang pinakamahalagang um, laboratory value po na dapat ay alam natin, let's memorize, no? The normal value for your calcium which is 8.5 to 10.5 milligrams per dl. And we will be using that concept as we go along with this discussion. Okay, first let's discuss about your disease osteoporosis okay sulat niyo osteoporosis now you know what ano ang nangyayari kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng osteoporosis so uh, in osteoporosis this is actually caused by increased okay increased mechanism may mechanism po na nangyayari dito Incre increased resorption tandaan po natin resorption so normally the bones daw should be um in your bone, uh, I mean the, the, the calcium, which is the minerals no, na kailangan ng ating bones para maging matibay, para maging malakas. Normally, nasa bone dapat siya. However, what happens in osteoporosis is that this calcium actually is, is, is taken away no, or lumalabas sila from our bones and the process is what we call as your resorption. Okay, ganun po ang nangyayari dyan. Now, what happens kapag may increased resorption, of course, no, ang calcium po natin, okay? Sulat niyo, mayroong calcium removal from our bones. Okay, nagkakaroon ng ca calcium removal from our bones. Therefore, nagkakaroon tayo later on ng weaker bones. Okay? So, weak na o nagiging mahina na ang ating mga bones and then nagkakaroon tayo ng increased isulat niyo, increased risk factor, okay? Or increased risk, no, for our fracture. Ayun, isulat niyo. Increase the risk for fracture. So now, this is actually the disease process or the basic concept of disease process in your osteoporosis. No, so now let's discuss about the risk factors. No, kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng what we call as osteoporosis. Okay, number one na risk factor class is your age. Of course, kanino to common when you're talking about age? Those who are okay, more than more than isulat niyo more than forty years old. Okay, for those who are aging more than 40 years old. And now, number two, isulat ninyo, kapag sinabi namang gender class, okay, mas common po ang osteoporosis kanino. Babae o lalaki, ang sagot class, it's more common among female. Okay, it's more common among female. Bakit? Ayan, class. Don't you know that uh, there is a uh, study which no says, and this is also according to the books, that it's more common to female, lalong-lalo na sa mga nasa post-menopausal. Okay, sulat niyo post uh, Post-menopausal um, period of their lives. Bakit? Nagkakaroon kasi dito class ng decreased, okay, sulat niyo decreased estrogen. Okay? And, okay, and this decreased oxygen, uh, de de decreased estrogen class, okay, actually promotes the process of your resorption. Isulat niyo, this decreased estrogen levels class sa katawan ng isang babae ay nagpo-promote ng resorption. Okay, kung kaya nagkakaroon tayo dito class ng ating um, test monopausal cause of having the osteoporosis. Okay, now, number three. Number three class, another class who talking about your race, 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 tandaan ninyo, mas common siya class among Caucasians. Okay? Caucasians. Okay? But, common din siya class sa ating mga Asian. Okay? Asian na races. That's why class, kapag tinanong kayo, what is the most common race class na nagkakaroon osteoporosis? It could be your Caucasians kapag wala sa options class. Hanapin ninyo class ang ating Asians. Okay? Now, number one. Of course, your Caucasians. Pangalawa class is your, okay, number two class are your Asian. Okay? Are your Asian races. Now, number four. Okay, common din siya class sa may mga problema sa kanilang diet. Okay, what type of diet? Of course, yung mga nagda-diet. Okay, yung mga decreased ang calcium intake. Okay? Decreased rin class. Those also who are having the decreased vitamin D intake class. Okay, sulat niyo yung mga kulang rin sa vitamin D. Now, number five. Number five, another also are those who have problem class with their lifestyles. Okay, now, what are those lifestyles class na, mag na maglalagay sa kanila? At risk class sa ating uh, osteoporosis, number one, are those who are having sedentary 
lifestyle. Ayan, yung mga anak ng rich kid, ganyan. Okay, sedentary ang lifestyle. Okay, hindi naman lahat, of course. Now, another also is inactivity. Isulat niyo inactivity, walang ginagawa. Okay, inactivity or immobility. Ayan, immobility, isulat niyo that could also be a cause. Okay, now, another also class, okay, intake, okay, intake of your Um, intake of alcohol is sulat ninyo of alcohol you know what class I just may just explain to you uh, the inactivity and immobility why? because balik tayo dito sa inactivity and mobility in your inactivity and mobility class remember that stressing your bones no? stressing your bones actually promotes okay? promotes okay? okay? stressing your bones class Okay, promotes the absorption. Kasi ito yung kala, kala, ito yung kalaban class ng ating resorption. Okay, promotes the absorption of calcium to the bone. Okay, remember, sulat niyo. The inactivity or mobility class, no? It it promotes actually the absorption of calcium into the bone. That's why remember class sa ating mga athletes, mas common sa kanila class yung running. Mas common na exercise nila yung pag-gym It's because it's actually, it actually strengthens their bones Okay, such as say for example Si Lebron James, ayan no? Heavy uh, training ang ginagamit niyan That's why na-stress ang kanyang uh, mga bones no? And therefore nagkakaroon ng absorption Now, however for uh, inactivity and immobility no? Stress of bones, ito ha Now, for immobility and inactivity, since walang activity, walang stress na nangyayari class sa ating bones, walang absorption na magaganap. More so, magkakaroon ng resorption. Causing, therefore, at risk for osteoporosis. Now, next, number, um, number uh, another also, which is included pa rin sa ating lifestyle, increased intake of alcohol. Of course, another factor also is smoking and eto lack of exposure to sunlight isulat ninyo lack of exposure to sunlight okay now how about class how about class for your signs and symptoms okay for your signs and symptoms class okay isulat ninyo for number one okay this is actually asymptomatic okay at start asymptomatic okay now nagkakaroon tayo ng however later on nagkakaroon po tayo ng tinatawag nating vertebral collapse okay vertebral collapse but remember for your vertebral collapse class it is actually gradual in nature okay matagal ang proseso siya okay now number 3 number 3 class okay nagkakaroon ng low back pain okay low back pain okay masakit na po yung likod natin another also nagkakaroon na tayo ng tinatawag nating deformity and the most common deformity in your osteoporosis is yung tinatawag natin kyphosis isulat ninyo kyphosis okay or class ang tanong ayan this is otherwise known or yung term talaga na ginagamit natin specific dito is your what we call as your Dowager's hump isulat ninyo Dowager's hump isulat ninyo Dowager's hump okay Dowager's hump ayan and dito class okay now another also class na Uh, signs and symptoms is there could also be a decrease in ayan, nagdi-decrease rin po ang timbang, okay? nagdi-decrease ang timbang, okay? remember those signs and symptoms, asymptomatic child, as a very starter of course nagkakaroon ng vertebral collapse which is very gradual in nature, low back pain nagkakaroon ng deformity or kyphosis otherwise known as your do wagers hump and also decrease in weight, ayan, ayan decreased in weight or decreased weight. Now, how do we manage class? How do we manage class your osteoporosis? Okay. Now, number one management natin is of course yan, diet modification. Okay? Diet modification. Yan. We modify the diet class. Of course, ka kasi may loss. Of course, we need to change that one. And now, ang diet dapat natin dito is increased, increased, increased ca class, increased calcium intake. And of course, also increased class your vitamin D. Okay? Vitamin D intake. Ayan. Increase calcium intake and also your vitamin D. So, ano mga pagkain class na mayayaman dito? Of course, example dyan is your dairy products. Okay? Dairy, pr dairy products. Okay? Dairy products. And of course, you need to take note for the lactose intolerance. Okay? Take note for lactose intolerance. 
Okay? Take note for lactose intolerance. Okay. Now, what are those other food class na mayaman sa vitamin D or calcium class? Of course, let's also have your GLV or your green leafy vegetables. Yan. Green leafy vegetables. Yan. Isulat niyo your GLV or your green leafy vegetables. Okay. Now, also class, ito, tinatanong to palagi at included siya under sa ating nutrition. Always include your fish bones or kahit na ano class, basta may, okay, merong bones. Such as, say, for example, your, ano yung mga, ano yung mga uh, fish na ginagamit palati sa board. Example is your calcio, uh, sardines. We also have your anchovies, okay, among others, okay. Example chance is your uh, sardines or your anchovies, okay. So, again, Start with your diet modification. What mod, uh, diet modification specifically class? Increase dapat ang intake ng ating dairy products. Such as, say, for example, your milk. Okay? And then also your green leafy vegetables. And also, of course, yung mga pagkain class na may mga bones. Such as, say, for example, yung mga isda, fish bones class. Okay. Now, another management class na pwede natin gawin, of course, is exercise. Ayan, exercise. Now, class, kapag tinatanong when do we exercise, we do it in the morning or in the a.m. or do in the daytime. Okay? Now, what type of example are those, class? Of course, we give, class, your weight-bearing exercises. Okay? Weight-bearing exercises. Now, class, kapag sinabi natin weight-bearing exercises, class, okay, what are those exercises? It can be, class, your W walking. Ayan. It can be your walking. Okay? It can also be jogging. Okay? Now, it can also be Zumba. Okay? Now, bakit? Again, anong nangyayari? Kapag babalikan natin class, kapag may stress sa ating bone class, it will promote absorption. Okay? Kinokontra nito ang resorption. Okay. Now, number three. Number three class. Number three class is decrease ang alcohol. Okay? Decrease alcohol intake. Okay? Decrease alcohol intake. Remember this one. One and then another also number four, number four class is that stop smoking. Okay, we should stop smoking because it's one of the reasons why we're getting this disease. Why we're getting this disease? Osteoporosis and also number five class. Let's start. Okay, as prescribed or as ordered by the doctor, let's start supplementation of your calcium. Okay, now, what are the drugs that commonly we're getting this disease? Is your what we call as your cal. Okay, Caltrate Plus, yan, Caltrate Plus, and also yung mga Calciaid, example yan, okay, Calciaid, ayan, okay, now, remember that the side effect class, okay, ng dalawang ito, of course, we just need to remember that ang common side effect po nito class, side effect na meron dito class sa ating mga calcium supplements, ang ating common side effects is remember nagkakaroon, pwedeng magkaroon okay, ang pasyente ng ating constipation. Okay, tanda rin nyo, pwedeng magkaroon ng constipation. So, kapag ganito class, okay, pwedeng increase natin. How do we manage this one? Of course, increase increase oral fluid intake. Yan. Okay, and also high fiber diet. Okay, now, let's continue. Okay, let's continue to your uh, management, another management class. Pwede rin natin class, bigyan ang pasyente class ng mga group of drugs which we call as your biphosphonates. Bi biphosphonates, isulat ninyo, biphosphonates, bi biphosphonates, okay? So, ano ang ginagawa ng biphosphonates na ito class? Okay, kinokontra nito, okay? Antagonizes antagonizes class kina kinakalaban kuno kontra niya class ang process of your resorption okay so ano ang example ng drug na ito example of your drug is your okay alendronate okay alendronate is ulit niyo alendronate class brand name class nito is your Fosamax Eko? okay brand name is your Fosamax okay now when do we give this one when do when do we give this one best given class best given remember this one this is best given during daytime or morning okay during morning yan remember this one ah okay so again 
magbibigay rin tayo class ng biphosphonates and the example of that drug class is your alendronate which is given class best given class for sa maxam brand name during morning or AM so ayan yan yan po ang nangyayari but however we need to take note class that your biphosphonate class has a certain side effect ang side effect po na pwedeng magkaroon si pasyente is yung esophageal okay esophageal esophageal ulcer pwedeng magkaroon ng ulceration sa esophagus so remember just remember how to manage this one how to manage this one okay para hindi magkaroon class ng uh, esophageal ulcer dapat increase ang increase ang OFI or oral fluid intake okay increase ang OFI or oral fluid intake and then upright position class remember upright position for 30 minutes remember upright position for 30 minutes okay again upright position for 30 minutes class after 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 taking the medication okay after taking the medication that is to accommodate class the passage of the drug ayan okay another also class number 7 na management na pwede natin gawin okay give estrogen hormone okay estrogen hormone class okay and remember this is the last option na binibigay kay pasyente natin why because it can increase okay it may okay it may increase okay risk of having okay your breast cancer okay it may increase risk for 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 breast cancer tandaan niyo okay so that's the concept of your um osteoporosis so next let's discuss about the concept of